go. Push ups, 20. I had to turn the AC on today. Warm? Yeah, I got a little warm in here. Fingers okay, Jim? Uh, a couple more. Just now? I think I physical with a bagel. <laughs> <laughs> Are you cutting a bagel with a knife? Bagel oh. Cut, then I, knife it, I thought you tried to cut it with your hand, the bagel, and it, yeah, it like, got even. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> attack back. Uh, push up position, jump your knees in and out 30 times. Bagels have edges. Yeah. Was it a plain bagel, or did it have some like special stuff on it made it dangerous? Uh, there's a flaming bagel. Bagels are us. How many times? Thirty. Would you, would you do fifteen again? Uh -oh. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, skip many. <laughs> Kayaker's 30. You're doing Dan Well, you have, you remember I used to do his push ups? He'd be done when you guys just started. <laughs> I'm like, Dan, did you do 30? He's like, <laughs> what is that? Hard to do 30 seconds worth. <laughs> uh, squat thrust jump kick time. Can't do 30 seconds faster than I can do 30 seconds. <laughs> I know, especially when I do a time one. Yeah, I'm done. Uh, no, we're doing 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, I'm good. No, we haven't finished the drill. It's like, dude, you're killing me. You're killing me. Nice easy warm up today. Hey. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Hand overhead, stretch to a tree. Jim, no bleeding on the floor. It's against rules. You can dance on the dojo floor, but no bleeding. <laughs> You and your thriller video. Jim was doing the thriller video Monday. Yeah. There's no you fight to stay alive. No immortal can resist the evil of the thriller. Switch. Can't do Vincent Price, sorry. I'm not doing that. Have a seat, left out, right in. Hey, I just, I just broke the rule. I sparred in COVID. Huh? Well, not really broke the rule. I sparred during COVID today. You sparred? Yeah, my private lesson. Oh, yeah? Gave me attitude, so I kicked him. You win? Oh, yeah. Oh, good job. Yeah. Said he was going to take it to me. I go, really? He'll go get your gear. <laughs> he was talking trash. I said, you want to still keep going? Call me old man, all this stuff. I'm like, really? I said, watch this old man hit you slowly. Watch the old man knock you over. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> oh yeah, little Josh. Bounce house, buddy. Boom. <laughs> I kicked you over the bounce house. Oh, that's what we should do. Take those kids in the bounce house and throw them next time. <sighs> During camp, we'll call it. We'll call it training. Yeah. That's right. And they're jumping off the top anyways. They didn't care. Yeah, they land on the next and they're gonna be paralyzed. They just jump off. Yeah. They shit right back up. Yeah. Durable. Yeah, kids are pretty pliable. Sounds like there's depression under there. 
inch and a half. But it's a, it's a weird cushion. It's, it's actually classified as a soft yoga mat. But um, I thought it was so soft comparatively to the martial arts mats. I was like, I got to put that on the bottom. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I was like, yeah. When I bought it, I was like, because those mats over there in that room right there where you stand, that used to be on the floor. Not in here, but in the old dojo. But that floor switch, it was a raised wood floor. So it bounced. So those, those still are hard though. Those ones in there, they're hard. I figure if you can stand on it, lean on your heels and your heels sink in a little bit, that's a good mat to work out on. If you don't have any give, you probably don't want to be doing throws or landing that hard. Jim likes to do it straight on the concrete in the hallway, but that's okay. Yeah, he don't play around. As long as he doesn't have to go against a bagel. That's right. Was it a single bagel or did you have multiple bagels coming at you? Did you have a cream cheese to defend yourself with? <laughs> seven grain bagel. Seven grain bagel. Ooh. That's like the seven deadly arts. Seven, grain. seven deadly like being ganged up on. <laughs> seven bagels. Eight, eight He's juicing, Vinny. <laughs> Don't want to tell us any information, Jim, because we just use it against you. Whatever <laughs> say can or be used against you. Of the Magnificent Seven. Oh, there you go. <laughs> they did a remake of that. I didn't really care for it. I didn't see the remake. Yeah. Remake, who cares? James Coburn would take the guy, you think you're faster than my gun with a knife? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Butterfly. Did you ever see the Southern Samurai, the best baseball coach? Oh, yeah. I think I, I did. I think I've I did. I've seen it. What's it up? Help me out. I, I, I've seen so many Samurai movies. Give me an intro. It's a... Uh, Guy with a sword? I know. Yeah, it, no, it's a very similar... Yeah. Story, very similar story where, like, the villagers are getting raided. Uh, Sounds like Blazing Saddles. They're getting, they're getting raided, and uh, so they come into the... They come into the town to hire a samurai. That sounds like waving saddles. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like waving saddles. <laughs> Maybe that's a place in saddles. The samurai is near. <laughs> they sell that? No. Would they have like seven different samurais or something? Yeah, they end up yeah. recruiting one guy and they, uh, he gets like a bunch of others and end up being seven of them. And gotcha. They go to the, story. I think they I go to the seen village it. and they fight all these, you know, raiders. There's a whole ton of them. That almost sounds like the Three Amigos. Yeah, no, they're seven. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they hired the Three Amigos to or defend their village. They don't wear big hats, though. Again, oh. El Guapo. El Guapo, yeah. El Guapo. Hey, you guys know that we're making a movie? <laughs> I love that. Uh, for some shyness, is there El Guapo? <laughs> <laughs> Legs out straight. those guys just riding around us for shooting in the air <laughs> let's make it look good guys the green goes falling from the sky <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it. <laughs> Not quite the same, but he's doing it. Yeah, you gotta work on that. That's definitely gonna be on your test. <laughs> yeah, that'll be on the black hole test. Flexibility. All right, any stretch you guys want to work? Any stretches you want to work? <laughs> and not get stuck. I haven't been able to do that in about 30 years. If I did it now, I'm pretty sure I'd hear something after Jim, we got just a thing for that cut. Bleach. Nope. Put it right over it, cleans it out, and a couple other extra things. You'll be learning some special Japanese language that we never heard of.
be on Sinead, Sinead. They yell at people a lot when they're in the cage, just getting their feet stuck in the cage and hooking on. Oh, yeah. They scream at them. Because it's like in a handle, you know? Oh, yeah. I think they're worried about you breaking, your, ripping your toe off, though. Yeah. Yeah. Because they'll catch their gloves or fingers in the gloves grabbing the cage. Well, are you, allowed to, are you allowed to grab You're allowed to grab it when you're attacking somebody, though, aren't you? No. no. Oh, you're not allowed to ever grab a hold of it? Or you... you can press, but you can't lock okay. your fingers in. I thought I had a great way to finish that problem. Just make all that, instead of being a fence, Electric. plexiglass. Like they do in hockey, so you slam Tempered them glass. in the boards. Think of how much more exciting that would be. Tempered glass. Tempered glass. That's the one when you hit it, it shatters. <laughs> the front row, whoa! <laughs> Just like a Hollywood movie. Of course, if you electrified that fence, that would change it up too real quick. Little? It'd have nobody on that fence. Not, not too bad, just like 220, just, don't just to give you a little bit. Just, just enough to jumpstart the heart. Yeah. That guy's got a heart problem, not anymore. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Oh, it's simple, dude. It's it tells you what to do. Yeah. Place these patches here. Here. Here's a razor. Shave that guy. You don't have to shave. That's not, that's not what my box says. <laughs> you don't have to, technically. Unless he's got a fur coat on, like Vince or something. You know. They had a picture of somebody who said, it looks like this, you gotta shave him first. You make good contact. And I won't tell you who it looked like. Yeah. You guys want to run some kicks back there? I'm gonna do Bob's test real fast for him. All right. You need help for sparring or grappling with Bob? No. Oh. no. We don't have to do any of that. This test. Not for this test. Not for this test. Why don't you do kicks, run on the other way, if that's cool. Bob, we'll stick you right where it says karate connection right there. Back up a little more. And then you can just face straight at the mirror. Okay. There you go. I don't need to be right in front of you to watch stuff. I'm good at whatever I'm going to do. These guys will do kicks back there. I'm not videotaping, it's just for them. All right. Uh, Chi. Ray. Fudashi. All right, what does uh, kibidashi mean? Kibidashi means four stand. Uh, kumite. Kumite is uh, freestyle sparring. Giran bere uki. That is uh, down block. Yeah. All right. Karate. Karate is open hands. Empty hands. Empty hands, okay. Mikazuki Gary Kia. Is, uh, is a uh, front crushing kick. Okay. Front yeah. crushing kick? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see you do your kata. What's it called? Uh, okay, begin when you're ready. Uh, take two steps back. Okay, let's see you do the first kata. First, okay. Ready? Alright, take it down. Show me a uh, defensive sidekick. Okay, show me a round. No, just one sidekick. Show me a roundhouse kick. Roundhouse kick. Uh, 
Yep, either leg you want to do, totally up to you. Okay. And show me. Uh... Actually, it wasn't a roundhouse. Okay, am I doing it? Okay. Yep, you were right. It was a crescent. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. You don't have to have everything perfect to pass. It, um, show me a uh, horse stance cross body block. Okay, all right, cheat. Great, I'll tell you end of class, the results. I'll tell you end of class, your results. Okay. okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, come on back up, gentlemen. All right, have a seat. 45 drill. You already did that? I didn't think you did. I thought you guys were just doing kicks. I thought you were doing just kicks, but... Forty-five roll up knee strike. Forty-five roll up bagel strike. Was that a Boston bagel or was that a New York bagel? <laughs> Jim does it. He's like, I'll never tell these guys nothing. <laughs> you know what Jim did to that bagel? He poked a hole through the center of it, and it had to get even with him. He's like. Pfft. I'll make you a donut. The bagel didn't like that, so they let him have it. I was at my brother-in-law's house last weekend. We were doing a cookout, right? Yeah. And he has these rolls you have to cut out, you know, cut apart. I grabbed this huge knife. And I'm like, doo -doo 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 -doo. he's like, shouldn't you use a smaller knife? I go, no, I got to cut through this roll. What if you go all the way through? I go, you cut your hand. <laughs> Stop, duh. That's so good. Row back, triangle, triangle. Whenever I use a utility knife, I use a wallboard knife all the time. But what? a wall, they call them wallboard. Okay. You can really crank a lot of pressure. Remember, it's for cutting drywall, but they're real sharp blades. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whenever I let that blade get dull, that's when I pay for it. So I'm like very on on key when it's not doing its job to switch that blade. Flip it, switch it, whatever you got to do to it. One of the best things I ever did for my work truck is I, I got a package of 100 utility blades. Oh, yeah. And I change a lot of you. Yeah. I tell you, it makes life a lot easier. That dull blade will get you. Yeah. Yeah. Believe me, it's worth it because I've cut my I've cut chunks out of my knuckle and everything. You have to push that hard. Uh huh. All right, guide guard side guard, but with the triangle. So guard side guard with a triangle. Double triangle or single triangle? Uh, your choice. You know, whatever, whatever you feel like doing. It's cool with me. Moving away from Greg, a little dangerous over there. Uh, and unsafe at any speed. Eh? Corvair. <laughs> we had that whole discussion with Bob one week about Corvairs. Bob, do you ever own a Corvair? What's that? Do you ever own a Corvair? A Corvair? Corvair car? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. My brother-in-law did. Oh, okay.
Awful. That's what they say, unsafe at any speed. Yeah. I don't think they produced it very long. What it is, uh, Ralph Nader putting into that. It's a, tough, it's a rough design with the engine in the back. Yeah. I think he was constantly thinking it apart from fixing it. Uh, well, then you got the Volkswagen Bug with the motor in the back, and that thing was like really good, I guess. What does? The Volkswagen Bug. Oh, yeah. Some of the uh, higher end European cars do too. Not really, really high end. Yeah. There's some more dirty ones. Yeah. All those Mercedes are cool. Some of those sports cars have been in the back. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be not. They're pretty high end too. <laughs> yeah, like the Lamborghinis and that. Didn't yeah. Well, because it's all engine. <laughs> there ain't no seats in those cars, are they? And you're like, oh, baggage? You just mail it. Oh, like 12 cylinders? Yeah, yeah. All right, spread out for Kata. Sir? Viper's a V12. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. Was that what they called the Tomahawk, though? Tomahawk, yeah. Crazy. Bikes go fast enough. You don't need a big motor. <laughs> Where's that motorcycle? Well, think about what the jet is. I mean, the, the uh, jet ski. That's like a motorcycle on the water. It's up there, yeah. Two, high twos. I remember doing 150 on a Ninja once. I was on the back of it, not driving it. That was a bit freaky when you're on the back. That's a little scary, just, because you don't have control of it, you're just hanging on for life. Your bike had to go pretty fast, your 1300, didn't it? Oh yeah. That had to be up there, you probably hit like 150 easy with that thing probably. Yeah, since I ever did was 155. There you go. See? Start floating off the ground, got some wings. <laughs> Speed on went up to 170. Wow. <laughs> 170. That's kind of cool in a way. You want to hear a, cr a really fun one? I had a 5 old Mustang. The speedometer only went to 90. That's it. And it went a lot faster than 90. Yeah, you can tell when it's yeah. And I realized why that particular car had special tires. Because <laughs> I'm like, wrong tires. Car starts floating on air. <laughs> it starts lifting off the ground. I hate that. You get one in the eye? Yeah. Who, who's, what office is right after Kathy, but before you? That's a student executive office. Oh. A president, vice like president, and stuff. Oh, okay. Is that what that is? Okay. I was wondering what that office was. I didn't read the sign, but. That was supposed to be my office. Yeah. But then when we moved in there, it, like, it didn't work. No? Too small? No. Uh, we have four people in the back office. And the back office, where I have, has a covered countertop and built into it. You can't put a desk there. So we have uh, a room in there. Gotcha. Gotcha. And the room's round, right? Well, it's a little bit. Yeah. Not too bad. Hey, did Mike, uh, what you called, retire? Oh, yeah. Hey, who's in his place now? What's that? Who took his job? Uh, it's a little really different now. Oh. Mark is uh, Mark Steve, he's the director of Smith's Life. Okay, I know Mark, yeah. But Mike was also the dean of students. Ah. And now they moved uh, Christian King from the, uh, uh, I can't remember what they call it, it used to be the Center for Multicultural Affairs. Okay. She's in our, upstairs in our building. And technically she's in charge of Mark. Ah. Uh. Uh, they changed that up.
Yeah. Want the next move, Damien, or no? Sure. Go back to that block. Kick with the right leg, front snap kick. Grab, knee. There you go. Oh, yeah, it's a mirror, yeah. A lot of times they do mirror images. Nick, go at the next move. Go back to where you were. Kick your leg, you're gonna face that direction. Back stance, Kenny Kufu. There you go. Watch anything then? Or no? Sure. Okay. What's up, Greg? Oh. No, no. Yeah. What do you want me to watch? Should have did that one for the tournament. Huh? There's, there's, yeah, you know. Look pretty good. Yeah, a little bit there, yeah. Lost your balance a little bit there? Yeah. Huh? Lost your balance a little bit there? Yeah, I didn't say anything about that. I was being positive. I was being positive. Lower snap level there. Tripped over the cage. Yeah. No way. No way. <laughs> keep telling yourself that. I don't believe you one of these times. You want to watch God? You want to watch God? <laughs> I feel you there, brother. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing too, huh? What are you too? Yeah, I know I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, look at I saw it in the mirror, so I wasn't sure if I saw it right. <laughs> Nick, you got two moves left. Yeah. It's up to you.
So if you want to fly like that, I'm never going to I'm never going to Yeah, it's fine. He's just correct. <laughs> well, well, I got to rework it. So, but, his, but you definitely want it up here. Yeah, right? as long as it's up here. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think that. But it's not like a move. No, just it's through placement. Push it block. All right, gentlemen, light up. Alrighty, Chink. Great. Kudashi. Sorry, I'm so sorry. That's all my shit, guys. Any questions? Nice. Okay, real quick, we have a promotion to Bob today. Orange Bob, give him a hand. Congratulations. I have to order your belt and then get your certificate, too. Okay. Also, uh, just to let you guys know, we do have a special coming out. You don't have to buy it, but if you're interested, it has to be purchased by November 24th. It's a new grappling slash karate gi. They're phenomenal looking. They're going to be really cool. Uh, Quality-wise, uh, similar to Nick's, 
Put out the super heavy ones like Greg or like Vince's here, or like Damien's got a super heavy one. It's more like about Nick's weight, so it's a good grappling karate gi. But it's gonna be really cool with some neat graphics on it. So if you want to look at one of these, grab one. But you have to purchase it for that price by November 24th. I have to get this order in ASAP because it's custom. That's why that date's so early. If I do it, I order it in December, we'll never get it. Okay? Just because all the time it takes to manufacture it and everything. But really neat. Um, the patches on it, on the uniform too, will be all like what we call sublimation printing. It looks like Vinny's patches, basically. You wash them, you wash them, they're not going to fade out or anything. And they all make it legal to be able to compete. Um, so you don't have any of the screen printed ones that are on there really nice too. So if you're interested, just check it out. Okay? Nice. All right, face the direction. Black three. Don Don. Two or three? Two. Two. Thank you. Purple. Yeah, thank you. Orange belts. See you, kids. Yellow. Oh, I All right. I'll probably have your stuff by Monday or Tuesday or something, okay?